Oh! Oh! Didn't see you there! What? You wanna know how to make a wrap? A good wrap? A yummy tasty wrap? A wrap that'll fill you up? That is good? A yummy, nice, delicious wrap? A rich wrap? Well, I'm here for that. I'm, I'm the man for this. Yo, what is up? This is the Loon Bruce, and in today's video, I will be doing a wrap. Now, we're gonna wrap this up with ingredients, everything that you need to make a good wrap. A salad wrap can do. With ham. Ham wrap. Ham. Ham wrap. Hey guys, to get this video started, we'll require wraps. Because you need wraps to make a wrap. So, to put on the wrap, we have ham. Um, it's the shredded ham. Then we got lettuce. We got a two dollar lettuce you can get at your Marcus um, shops. The ham was probably two dollars. We got cheese. Man, we're talking about cheese. Cheese, two dollar cheese, three dollars. I don't know, cheap cheese. And we, we got some swag, beetroot, beach root, beetroot. And then we got some, we're talking about carrot. Now, I like to put a little bit more on my wrap. So, I'm also going for oh, noodles. You can't see it. Uh, let it focus. I'll get my self out of the view. Dang! I now, we'll also need salt and pepper. Now, for sauces, you can use BBQ sauce or tomato sauce. And for the best thing you have to have because it tastes really good is. Oh, mayonnaise. I think um, what type of mayonnaise really matters. I've tried heaps, but they all taste the same. I've been trying lately the sweet soy sauce, uh, but it actually tastes pretty damn good. Okay, now we're gonna need a plate. What you need now is a wrap. Put that wrap on. Oh, last one, goddamn. Last wrap. You're gonna need butter or margarine or something. What is this? Um. It doesn't say what it is, but I think it's margarine or something, or butter, I don't know. Get a tiny bit, dab it on, dab, dab. Now, now we want to put the ham on. Bam! Oh, don't worry about that. Definitely not giving this to anyone else, except for me, so dirtiness doesn't matter. We're going to be adding probably the beetroot now. The beetroot! We must open the can. Now, we need one of these. Don't open the can. Blop! that out of the way or we'll stain it. Which we do not want. Once finished opening the can, you'll want to start putting the beetroot on. Any minute now. How's it not open yet? It's not even coming off, is it? I'm gonna go this way. Stop. <laughs> Bastard! Okay, it's not coming up here. We'll do here. Whoop. Okay. Look. Oh, cut myself. Now, with working with shit like this, make sure not to cut yourself like I did. Focus, what's it doing? It's not gonna focus, is it? No, well, I cut myself. Oh, no. Okay, what you're gonna do is grab your beetroot out, make sure your hands are clean. I'm gonna avoid using that finger and rip them apart. Now, why we're ripping the part, I mean, the beetroot apart is. So you can wrap it up and easily eat it without pulling a big chunk out with your teeth. Now I would usually put just enough to cover it. Don't want to overflow with all the crap we're going to be putting on it. We want to put some lettuce on. Lettuce is the key ingredient. <laughs> Alright guys, why don't you go to the chopping board, grab some lettuce, open it up, grab that shit. Bring it out, grab your big knife that is sharp and shit. Rest this all up. 
and caught a wave. Like so. Once it's all cut up, you should be now able to apply it. Under your wrap! <laughs> okay, here it goes. Slide it all on. Bam! That's the way it is done. Next ingredient! But uh, if you like onion, we will put onion on. Okay, here's our onion. So, I'm gonna cut this side. Oh, shit. And this side off. Now, oh, she shouldn't have done this under um, air. Now, if you live on the farm, you could just have a chuck bucket. It makes everything easier. But I don't really love it on farm, I guess. Oh, well, I guess I do. Yeah, yeah, we live on a farm, I think. We're going to chop off probably that much. No, that much. I don't want too much onion. I hate onion. But, yeah. And then we're going to put that there. So it's all diced up like the mac is, or um, onions. You want everything to be chopped up and small. Just so you don't, so you can spread it around and not like, when you take a bite, you don't just take a big chunk with your bite. You now want to apply it to your... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, she. Onions went everywhere. Just apply it. There we go. Okay, guys, she's the easiest part. Like, no, we have not even added up the carrot yet. Now, with the carrot. No, with the carrot, I don't usually cut it up just because it takes too much time. With Anyway, I usually just use a, um, whatever this is, as it's easier. Doesn't take too much time up cutting everything. You know, this, I want this to be a quick snack. I usually eat these like all the time, just cause they're so good. Definitely for salad. Like if you have kids, this is probably the best snack to make them. So yeah, that's enough carrot. Now we're gonna add the cheese. <laughs> oh God, yep, that was a little too much, but we can spread it around and it's not that big of a deal. I shouldn't be eating it. Let's continue. Now, I usually put this in the microwave for 30 seconds, which I will do now. Now, while it's in the microwave, I'm going to start putting everything back in the fridge before it's done. Which is already done. I was a little too late. There's my microwave there. But, once I clean up, I will start doing the rest of the sauces and salt. Okay, now that we got our plate finished in the microwave, we will now apply our sauces, which we have here. First off, I'm gonna do the salt and pepper. Now, don't ask me what salts these are, because I don't know if they're the normal type of salt or not. But I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna apply barbecue. Now you can have tomato, mayonnaise, barbecue, or soy sauce. As you will. Um, I probably won't have tomato, but I will have mayonnaise, because mayonnaise is good. Mayonnaise makes a wrap really good. Okay, may not look that good, but it, it will be. Now I'm gonna apply some soy sauce. Um, it does taste good with the soy sauce, so I will add a tiny bit. Uh oh, came out pretty quick. Like, there we go. That's enough. Bloop. And there's your wrap ready to go. Now, to fold it is quite easy. I usually take the biggest ends that don't have anything in it. Wrap it like this. Fold that one over, fold this one over. Now I'm gonna fold this one over there. Now I'll pick it up and start eating from this side. It's really good. Mmm. Nah. Too good. Now, you probably want to keep it 
um, above a plate because it, um, liquid does drip from the bottom, from the butter or um, soy sauce or other sauces basically. It tastes like restaurant quality, I keep looking at the screen, restaurant quality food. See the dripping? That's from the um, beetroot. This is probably not something you would want to eat in public unless you have a sink to wash your mouth and hands in. I invited my friend over to um, test out my wrap. He comes up, he wants it every time he comes over here. Alright okay, guys, just finished the wrap and would I eat it again? Hell yes! That was just the best food I have ever tasted. I wish I knew about this when I was a kid. I'll be making these all the time. And firstly, first, first, first of all, firstly, first, the good thing about it is that it's cheap. Everything's two dollars. Sauce, salt, everything, beetroot. This is all cheap. I don't know why they sell the wraps at the shops for like thirty bucks or something. And McDonald's seven dollars, and they only sell like a little small wrap, like, like, like that that long like I just made a big ass wrap that filled me up for probably hmm two or three or four bucks I can make like shit loads of wraps like out of all these ingredients I can make shit loads for like and sell them probably for five bucks each with everything on it I don't know why they sell the shit Dio it's all this food is so cheap so you can buy salads in a packet of beer. Nah, just buy them separately and make everything yourself. It is lots cheaper. So yeah, that's it for this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you want. Share it with your friends. Hit that notification bell. Cutting my teeth. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time, mate.